everyone, welcome to my February sewing plans vlog and by magic of video I am back wearing the same thing that I finished my last vlog on that's because I just carried straight on and recorded them both at the same time I'm sure you won't judge me so let's get stuck straight in so my February sewing plans well we're halfway through February already so actually some things I've already finished but we'll sort of semi pretend that hasn't happened. So let's start off with the first. The first is the Closet Case Patterns Kelly Anorak or Kelly Jacket. So I'll just bring that a little bit closer and you can hopefully see. And the view that I'm going to go for is view A. Um, and that that is the one that has a drawstring waist and also a hood. So that's the one that I've opted for. And the pattern itself doesn't include a lining or anything like that, but Heather Lou has written some really great posts about underlining it or interlining it. And I don't know whether I've imagined this or read this somewhere, but there might be a tutorial coming or an expansion pack that does involve a lining, but I might have just imagined that. In terms of fabric for that one, I was really tempted to make a navy version just because I love navy, but I'd already made a navy sewaholic minoru jacket so I opted for a different colour and I was really crushing on the pattern pictures on closet case patterns so the olive green colour so I opted for that one and I knew I really wanted to underline it or interline it um, and so I was looking for fleece or something like that something um, or some flannel which is also what Heather Lou underlines hers in and it took me ages to find some that I liked, but in the end I was drawn towards some Liberty fleece. So I could maybe wave those fabrics in front of the camera, but what I'm actually going to do is give you a really quick sneak peek of the jacket itself, which I'll talk more about in my February makes video. So that was just a really quick sneak peek and we're going to move on. So the next February sewing plan was going to be one of my 2017 Make 9 makes and that was the Sewaholic Fraser sweatshirt. But actually I decided to have a go with a different pattern which is the Seamwork Astoria. Just because it takes slightly less fabric, I really like the look of it and I was going to make it anyway. It might be that I still make the Sewaholic Fraser sweatshirt later but I've just shifted to this one for now. So I made a little toile first in some fabric land scuba jersey which actually you would have seen in the last vlog but then I saw some Atelier Brunette sweatshirt for sale on Faberwood.com so I ordered a metre of that and just hoped that I could squeeze and I saw it out of it, which I've perfectly managed to do. And I cut out all the pieces yesterday, but I'll just show you the fabric. Um, now, it's it's called Twinkle Rose. It's more of a, it's less of a pink and more, well, it's got a bit of like a grey colour to it, almost. So hopefully you should be able to see the little gold spots and red dots. I'll wave my hand in front just in case it needs to focus but yeah it's lovely it's really nice it's not too thick um, and yeah I just can't wait to sew that up so as soon as I've recorded this I'm going to sew that up. I'll talk a little bit more about the make itself because based on the twirl that I made I am going to make some adjustments to begin with I added two inches to the body straight away because I heard how short it was but that's my my next make and that'll be happening over the next day or so. So my third planned make in February is going to be a Colette Moneta. Now most of you should have seen or heard of the Moneta party that has been organised in partnership with Colette but by the Triple Stitchers. So Rach Wayne, So Abigail and Elm from So Positivity. And so I'm definitely going to get involved and make that. I'm not entirely sure which version I'm going to make. I've made two versions of version two with the short sleeves um, but I'm also debating 
doing something a bit different with the collar. I probably am not going to line the bodice. So we'll see, we'll see how we get on with that. In terms of fabric, I'm actually keeping the fabric a little bit secret at the moment. You may have spotted it on my Instagram at some stage, but at the moment it's secret just because I want to save it for the big reveal as part of the Manetta party. But are you going to get involved with the Manetta party? There are some amazing prizes, so you really should get involved. So let me know what you're going to make if you are down in the comments. So my last plan make, if I get around to it, I might not finish it in February, but I'll, I'll certainly be able to start it, I think, is a deer and doe cardamom dress and actually this one's been in the pipeline for a little while um, and the version that I'm probably going to make is the, on the front here it actually has just the sleeved versions but I'm going to make um, a short sleeved version I think so this one and actually this is another one of my 2017 Make 9 patterns. I'd already sewn a toile up in some, just some cotton that I got when I was in Hawaii a few years ago now. And yeah, it, it fits perfectly fine. Um, I just lengthened the bodice a little bit um, by an inch after I'd made the toile. I did consider bringing the side seams in a little bit but I'm actually just going to wait and see how that fits with the fabric that I've chosen and the fabric that I've chosen is this again is just my my love affair with Atelier Brunette fabric and it's this navy with gold flecks or just unusual um, pieces <laughs> in it and this one's called Tabby and I got this from Sewn Bristol um, and yeah I just really really love it and I did quite like it when I'd seen it on the Atelier Brunette website but actually I don't think the pictures really do it justice and then I'd seen that Madame Tiffany had sewn up a I forget what she makes um, but I'll put a link below, but I saw a make, one of her makes in this fabric. Oh, it was a Melilo. It was a Dear and Melilo. That's what it was. Um, and I think we both have very much a love affair with Dear and Doe and Atelier Brunette. So I think she is basically French, but I'm not. I just want to be. Um, but yeah, this is the fabric. And when I'd seen her make in it, I was just like, yeah, no, I, I need to make something in that fabric. So yeah that's that's coming next I'm not planning to line it um, and I think that'll be okay for the bodice because it's quite opaque but for the skirt I'm not entirely sure it might might be one of those times where if you get caught with the light shining in a particular direction you might be able to see the outline of your legs so I'll see how I get on with that I might just need to make or, or buy an underskirt to go underneath it. So that's the last of my planned makes for February. There's no guarantee that other things won't sneak in. They might well do. Yeah, I, I just want to also talk about some other things that are coming up actually. So some of you might have seen on Kittenish Behaviour's blog or vlog or Instagram um, and also maybe on my Instagram a collaboration that she's organised called the kittenish behaviour pattern swap or hashtag kb pattern swap and it's a really cool idea that a few of us bloggers and vloggers are getting involved in and basically each of us get paired together and we choose a pattern along with some swatches fabric swatches for that pattern and send it off to our partner i actually got Gabby of gabadashery which i'm really excited about i'm also a little bit nervous about choosing a pattern for her. In terms of the fabric swatches it's just to give them an idea, they don't have to use that fabric so I feel a little bit less, there's a little bit less pressure there. But I've already chosen a pattern for her so that's really exciting, just collecting some fabric swatches and stuff and I'm really excited about all of that. I think the reveal and everything is in March sometime 
um, but I'll, I'll update you a little bit more on that when it comes to my February makes vlog or the March sewing plans and you'll hear a little bit more about that but if you want to know more in the meantime head over to Kittenish Behaviours vlog and watch the video about that. It started out with some pre-organised vloggers and vloggers but she's also inviting anyone who wants to get involved and would like to be paired up with someone um, she's going to organise all of that so if you're interested in also getting involved it is by no means restricted to the people who are already said to be involved you, you could definitely get involved with that so head over there. There's something else very exciting coming along um, which is a big collaboration with some of the bloggers and vloggers etc and the fold line but I can't quite tell you about that yet. There's something else that I'm also considering doing after seeing a video on sea salt and stitches or Susanna Forsyth's um, vlog and channel and she talks about this bullet journal or this bullet journaling, I think it's even a verb, and she shared her bullet journal with us and especially how she uses it to plan her sewing and also her meals and other things and I'll be honest I'd heard of bullet, a bullet journal and I really wasn't that interested in doing it but after watching that video I'm really intrigued by it and I might have a go so maybe, maybe that's upcoming, I don't know yet. Does anyone else do bullet journaling? Do they have a bullet journal? Tell me about it, I don't yeah, I don't really know very much. How do you use it for sewing? Do you use it for other things? Tell me a little bit more in the comments. And also, a little bit further down the line, I really want to expand the types of videos that I share with you. So first and foremost, I'd really like to know what kind of things you want to see. So, you know, again, down in the comments, let me know or fire off an email to me or something on Instagram. Um, that would be really cool. But I'd like to do things like talk about which sewing tools that I use or perhaps reviews of books or patterns or just general re reviews um, and also I'd like to give you a little tour of my sewing space it's a bit higgledy piggledy but it'd be nice to be able to share some of that with you the other thing I want to do is just blog a little bit more so I also have a blog at gingermeller.wordpress.com and yeah I've been managing to do a little bit more of that at the start of this year but I think it's just nice to also have pictures of things as well as video and you know, just visual visual things and also so that I can keep track of what I'm doing. Bit of a trade off sometimes between blogging and vlogging but hopefully I'm I'm back in the vlogging game now um, now that the evenings are getting a little bit lighter and I'm feeling a bit better. Well that's it, those are all of my February plans um, etc. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!